Maybe. All right. So after we come back from those two, um, the first motive over the G and the, and the second motive over the, uh, which is the same exact rhythm, but over the D7, and then it starts again and goes one, two, three, four. goes like this. Starts out the same. All the way to here it's the same. But instead of going up to here with together, we're going to do it apart here. Get a, a minor third because we want this G7. We want that right there. So we're going to go. Then, I don't know if you want to just lower this or if you want to go make that major third into a minor third. And I have here C on the second string and E flat, the second one for that minor third. And then I'm going to slide that position up two frets and back down to where we were. And then now I'm going to keep it up. Uh, my fingers apart like that. Still a minor third on the B and the D. And then I'm going to go down here to this little kind of D chord fragment here. And then back in the thirds. I'll just try it here um, right after that. Here's go. This is the second half of it, like we just talked about. After it comes in off those first two motives. So it's not the same. Here it goes. And it's going to be the C minor chord, and you're going to go. From this thing, you're going to go, or actually move like this, then you're going to go. And then. I'll try that whole thing in rhythm, and then we're going to go. 